I think you'll find that there'll be some surprising results right the way across the country. And isn't it interesting that as the Prime Minister tours around different constituencies, he finds it incredibly difficult even to mix with people because, <laughs> because, because of the response he's leaving. And what we're getting back on the doorstep, he's most probably the least trusted politician that people have ever experienced. And Arlene Foster, I think, has come to a judgment this morning which was echoed right the way across the country. This is a man whose word you cannot trust. It's interesting when, um, when people start talking about run on the pound and all the rest of it. I just asked them to explore the recent history of the pound under the Tory government <laughs> and suggest to, suggest to commentators that actually the instability brought about by a combination of incompetent management of the economy, exaggerated claims about what's potentially available in terms of deals under Brexit, the threat of a no deal, and then the markets recognising that we have a Prime Minister whose word cannot be trusted. How can they have faith in our economy when it's managed by someone who, as I said last week about Donald Trump, has a passing relationship with the truth?